Hey, it's Liam. I'm back home from Florida. And obviously, today is Sunday, May 1st. Uh, it's good to be back home. I had a great time in Florida. Uh, it was great because the weather was great. It was great to see my mom. It was great to not work. It was great to um, not have much to do. And it was great. I mean, I've already talked about those things before. But it was great that I was able to get away from here. I mean, I'm not like stuck in like a housing situation where it's like, you know, bad or anything. Um, you know, how ba I don't have bad neighbors. I have a great neighborhood. My house is in good shape. It doesn't give me any, you know, problems. But it is just, it is just kind of like one place. So it was great to go somewhere else. Um, which is what my mom does every winter. So after, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, between Christmas and New Year's, she heads down to Florida with my aunt, and they spend months in Florida doing retire Florida things. I mean, listen. Okay, so the, the weather was great when I was down there. My mom was saying, oh, you brought the good weather with you. And I'm like, did not bring, because, I, you know, you know what I think about last winter, up here. And sh and she's like, oh no, the weather wasn't actually this good down, down there. And I'm thinking, how bad could it be when the sun sets like an hour or so after us? Oh no, the sun's really low. Like the sun like, come, it's so low through this window that it hits the back wall of this room in the middle of winter. Like that's how low the sun, it barely crests the houses across the three, across the street. I think we were in like Alaska or something. Like anyway, so she's like Florida, Florida. She gets to go to Florida um, and she gets to come back. Um, the place that they stay at down there is my aunt. My aunt also has a place up here. Um, it's like an apartment on my cousin's house. Um, so that's a good thing for her. And so my mom, my mom just has the house that we grew up in, which is actually not quite far away from here. And so she has these like places that she can come and go. And obviously she's, she's, she's older and she's worked her life and she's raised a family and she's retired. Uh, but it, and I'm, and I haven't, but I really, um, <clears throat> especially this winter felt it that a place to go. And it's not, it's not about COVID. It's, um, just, or about being like stuck in your house. It's just being like trapped in winter time. So I've been thinking about something and keeping it to myself, not even like talking about it here on my blog. I'm not talking about it to my friends because I like I like to like I like things to stew and simmer and whatever metaphors and euphemisms that you want to come. But like, just think of like, am I serious about it? Just thinking about it for a while, working it out. Is this logical for me? It doesn't make sense. I mean, is it or maybe it just needs to be adapted and work. Workshop is that a word? Workshop a little bit better. A workshop of one. Um, as much as possible before I kind of like let it slip to someone. So my mom has plans besides just going, coming and going from Florida. Uh, she considered that someday she'd sell the house and when she comes up here, she would live with me and I do renovation to my house here and she would live with me. And I'm, and we, we've talked about it. We've, we've walked around my house and she did like a major renovation, fantasy renovation to my house one day, and I'm just like, full stop. you not doing that. <laughs> we can do some things, and you can be comfortable when you get here, but I'm not put, putting an apartment on my house for my mom when my house is not much bigger than an apartment. You see, people do renovations to their houses around here, and sometimes they make like an addition that's bigger than their house, and it gets a little out of control, and the house gets like dwarfed. But you've seen these things before. Everyone's seen them. That's not going to happen here. And uh, certainly not to the scale that my aunt had on my cousin's house. 
Absolutely not. Um, but it's still in the realm of possibilities. Um, who knows what happens in the future. Um, so we had talked about that before. We actually did not talk about that while I was in Florida. Instead, we were talking, well, we were driving around. There was the day that we went up to see my sister's house. Now my sister has built a house in Florida, like built a house. The development has built a house for her on a street where it's almost like a, a, a time lapse as you go down the street between like dirt lot and then the next one has a foundation, the next one has walls, the next one has a roof, the next one has cladding, this one has doors and siding, whatever. And then you get to hers where house is done, husband has moved in, they're unpacking and they're just fixing things that the workmen just need to finish off. But she's gonna, she's living up here still and once my niece graduates from high school, they're all, the rest of them are gonna head back down, not back down, the head gonna head down to Florida. And that's gonna be their residence in Florida. And when Florida gets Florida like in July and August, and um, just like I couldn't get away from Massachusetts in December, January, and February, they won't be able to get away from Florida at that time too. But my mom, my aunt come and go, you know, they've got different places and different places. Uh, so it wasn't about like, you know, I, I'm not gonna buy a house down the street from my sister in my sister's town. It's not gonna happen. I do not wanna be in Florida when Florida is um, cooking, when Florida is um, getting hurricaned or stuff like that. You know, hur hurricanes versus blizzards. Hmm, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. So what I thought of is what about if I had a place that wasn't so far south? It was that was far enough south that it wasn't like eternal winter, like it is here, but yet not so far south that um, it's just uh, a, you know um, a furnace all the time. And I don't know where that is. Um, I'll stay in. I'll probably stay in the east. Um, I probably, oh, I don't know. There's not, there's actually not a lot of probability, probabilities in there. Would I um, buy a house and renovate it and then maybe just rent it to someone else during the other months or do a Airbnb kind of thing? I don't know anything about this stuff. Would I buy a piece of land and build a house on it that's just, just, just what I need? and not like whatever it happens to be there. Like, how would I do that from like here? Would I have to move, like, these are all the things that have been going through my head for months. And so, mainly because when um, my mom asked me a million questions, I had at least a couple hundred thousand answers for her. I mean, I did just kind of, I did blindside her with it. But, um, I don't, I, 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 you know, it's not going to happen 2022 or 2023 probably. Um, I'm, I'm thinking more about like when I'm as, you know, in the next 10 years, what do I want? Like, how do I want to live? Um, this winter, my hands started to hurt, um, constantly. And I had the heat blasting up here just to keep the, you know, just to keep from getting cold. Um, my hands are a whole cold right now. Although my aunt did give me some great arthritis cream while I was down there. Yeah. Yeah, so that happened. She also gave it to me. Like, so I have it. And it, and it's great stuff. Yeah. Arthritis cream. Anyway, so that's, um, that's kind of the... I guess the, the thing I've been thinking about has been as I've been suffering in silence in the eternal, it's, I mean, today was a beautiful day here. Um, but it hasn't been until now. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably talk about that again in the future when more ideas come. I mean, I still have to, you know, I still have, I still haven't even, I've had lived there like six years or something like that. And I still haven't had that bathroom redone, which I'm never going to show anyone on the screen because 
as usual. Well, maybe, you know, if, if it's a project, maybe I will document it. Maybe someone would find that interesting someday. But not today. Today, I have to work tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow. Uh, at least it's our easy week of the two either or weeks. The harder week I was in, I was in Florida. So that's good. And I didn't hear anything. So that's good news. And I haven't opened my computer to check. All of that can wait until tomorrow. So thank you for watching. This has been Liam from Base Data.